Yo, yo, yo. <clears throat> yo. Yo, so I don't buy kendamas very often to be honest, but the kendama that I have inside of this box is A, probably one of the most iconic, most recommended, most highly loved, versatile apparently shapes that has ever hit the kendama market. I hear about this thing all the time and I've never touched it myself. And B, this kendama in particular happens to be one that I genuinely think is the most beautiful, best looking kendama I've ever seen in my life. So I've got uh, the only reason I was cool in grade six and I'm gonna crack this open and show you what we got going on here. Tape. I'll give you some tape. Oh, that was a nice pop surprise. Happy birthday. Looks pretty nice. We have the Soul Kendamas Liam Router Pro Mod. This is my first Soul Kendama, Kendama ever. Uh, hashtag not sponsored. They did send me this, but uh, I, I had to send them money first. So this has sticky paint. Uh, you might be able to see it is full bamboo and it is the iconic one up shape. Now they did just come out with the two up shape like a couple days ago. So uh, I'm a little tardy to this one. Tardy as in late, not anything else. I am a sticker man. Sticky paint uh, works. Mm, smells like Home Depot. Um, anyways, this is a pro mod, so I'll quickly tell you everything that I knew about Liam Router before I bought this. And now I'll tell you everything I know about him after having checked out his Instagram page. So, uh, I don't know if you ever saw the original pro mod. This is kind of like the version two, I guess, because it had a lot of like space themed stuff on it. Because the dude's an aerospace engineer, which uh, all funny business uh, aside, is very impressive, very cool. And you'll see it's got <clears throat> gra Gradatima Ferociter, which uh, is the motto of Blue Origin, Jeff Bezos's space race company. Uh, that's cool. It means step by step ferociously, which I just Googled, which is a, a good um, motivating phrase to have on your kendama. And I order a lot of stuff on Amazon. So, you know, shout out uh, to Jeffrey. Try it Always, yourself. Uh, getting, getting things done. <laughs> Thank you. I don't even know how to do like an unboxing video. If you guys want to see unboxing videos, you should go watch uh, Elijah. Elko Kendama, shout out. He does this a lot better than I do. The sticky paint sticks, seven, eight finger string. Here it is compared to one of my favorite shapes, the Sweets Boost. Maybe a tiny bit bigger cuppage all around, which we're a fan of that. I don't know, what else am I supposed to do? I'm gonna get up and play with it and tell you how it feels. The, the bamboo, does it feel light? Oh, I should weigh it. Now I gotta go get a scale and put the weight up here and the ball weight. Okay, I think that's it. Do I, I don't want to sit anymore. Anyways. <laughs> okay, I should do some close-ups though. I don't know if this is going to be like B-roll footage or you're actually going to hear everything I'm saying right now. And we got to get some close-ups of the Tama because especially with that bamboo, you can see the grain inside the Tama, which is just so clean looking. I've never played bamboo. I think it's supposed to be light, right? They make like those little freaking airplanes. Oh no, that's balsa wood. Okay, I think that's pretty much everything. The first thing I need to mention is there is a base cup hole. I don't know if that's standard with the one up shape or not, but it does exist here. And the second thing, I've got obviously this super wide angle on, which obviously the quality might be a little lower, but the width might be a little higher. I'm just doing this as an experiment for future trick videos. Let me know what think you think is better. Let's do the whirlwind test. Oh, hey, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> I haven't played a fresh kendama in so long. The spike is so pointy. Whoa. Whoa. One thing I noticed right off the bat is the bamboo feels like super soft. It's not like super hard and clacky. It's very, very soft, which doesn't really mean anything. The juggles and stuff felt pretty good. It's obviously a bit of a shorter shape, so uh, unlike some of the like big taller Kens these days, 
but it's a bit short in the hand, not as much to grab onto. The sticky paint, I mean, it's not the stickiest stickiness I've ever felt in my entire existence. It feels like it takes up more room in my tiny little baby hands, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. The stall points maybe feel like bulkier. This just feels a bit bulky to me, and not in a bad way. Lunar balance seems good. The, the base cup, even with that hole, feels like it's kind of heavy. That's a nice one. Rather than sticking right down, it's a little bit more bouncy. I don't know, does that make sense? If I go for this like double slinger, it's usually flying off my finger by the second revolution because I'm not very good at them. But this feels better. There's definitely slip on the paint. It'll be interesting to see how it breaks in. Have I said anything of any value in the last 10 minutes? I don't know. Anyways, I guess that's kind of my first impressions. Light because of the bamboo, soft because of the bamboo, which are both good feeling things. You know, I'm all about satisfaction and this is giving that to me. Um, the bulkiness of the shape is something I'm very much noticing. Uh, it just feels bigger in the hand. It feels like the Serato is a little loose, but that's irrelevant. Bigger in the hand, um, bulky, but gives me better control. Okay, I don't know if I've said anything of value uh, in any of this video, but if you're curious, this is what I think is one of the best looking kendamas I've ever seen. I'm gonna have fun playing the Soul 1-Up shape uh, in future videos, so check those out. And I promise you, I'll never do an unboxing video again. <laughs> okay, oh, wide angle, that too. Okay, we did a lot of, a lot of experimentation here and I think we learned a lot together.